Uncle, good morning, sir. That's your talkative secretary. She just kept me waiting since. Over one hour I've been waiting for you. Ah, that is Ada for you. Don't mind her. That is what she does. Oh. She talks all day. That girl must have been a parrot in her former life. Sincere apologies. I was having a meeting with some of my Chinese partners. Ah, uh, how may I help you, dear nephew? Uncle, I'm not happy with you at all. I must confess. Victor, where is this annoyance coming from? Your own mother happens to be my younger sister. And if my memory serves me well, I was instrumental to your university education. I saw you through school. So what is the problem? Of what use is the university education to me? Two years after graduating, no job, nothing. Please, that university education has not done anything for me. No job, nothing. People don't even believe that you're my uncle. How can I have such a rich uncle and I don't have a job and I don't have anything doing? You have a big company like this and you cannot employ your own nephew. Every day you'll be giving me excuses. I have told you several times. There is no vacancy for you here in my company. I cannot put a square peg in a round hole. You studied psychology at the university. I run an engineering equipment leasing company. Don't you understand? Uncle, don't give me that excuse. Please, it will not work. Coming into your company, every time I come here, I see a new face. And you'll be telling me you're not employing. Downstairs, I saw one guy looking horrible. I asked him, what did he study? He said Yoruba language. A boy that studied Yoruba language at the university managed to get a job here in your company. He even told me you started him with a salary of 100000 New week, new employee. But your nephew, give him a job. No, you will not. Enough of these lies. Just look me in the eye and tell me you don't wish me well. This boy, you do not have respect. I am your mother's elder brother. Look at the way you're talking to me. That is why I advise you to go and get yourself a wife. If you had a wife at home, you would learn manners and how to comport yourself when you are in public. There you go again. I should go and marry. If you had a daughter, would you give her hand in marriage to a jobless man like me? You are putting the cart before the horse. Give me a job. Then other things will follow. What kind of advice is that? I should go and marry a woman so that she will come and be eating sand in my house, right? <laughs> Every time you crack me up. Okay, now let's get real. The truth of the matter is, I deliberately do not want to employ you here. Because I want to make you strong. I want you to fend for yourself. Listen. You are my nephew, and I love you like my own son. I trained you through university. I want you to grow to be an entrepreneur like me. I don't want you to be an employee, earning salary and living from paycheck to paycheck. That is the plan I have for you. But I wanted you to come to me and make a proposal about a business you want to do. Instead of coming to me, Asking for a job. Wow. So why did it take you this long to suggest that to me? Okay. I will go and think about a business I want to do. And when I come up with something, I'll come tell you about it. So that, you know, you can help me with the capital. That's my boy. That is the spirit. Okay. See, all these years you have been looking for a job. I wanted you to get tired of looking for a job so that you would think outside the box. Now, go and think of a business you can do and I will finance it. Make sure it is a small scale business because I do not want to start you up in business with big money. Start a small scale business, then scale it up by yourself 
I want you to prove to me that you can start small and grow bigger. But I'll be right behind you, supporting you along the way. Go and think of a business and come back to me. Ah, Victor, here you are. You must have been doing a lot of thinking about this business because uh, it has taken you two weeks to come back here and give me a feedback. What have you been doing? Yes, sir. I'm a very detailed person. So I've been doing a lot of thinking about the business I want to start. So I have thought about it and I have concluded and I have even started training on how to run the business from some of the people I know who are into the business. Interesting. I'm all ears. I'm so excited. So go ahead and tell me about the business. Popcorn business. Pop what? Pop Guinea. You heard me right. Popcorn business. I want to be making popcorn and be selling it. I remember you insisted that I start with a small scale business and scale it up well i have come up with popcorn business because i know that it's a small scale business but it is very very profitable this is arrant nonsense how can you come into my office this hot afternoon to be cracking jokes do i look like a joke to you how can you decide that in your life it is popcorn that you want to be selling who do you know that has ever succeeded selling popcorn buy a car build a house, marry a wife, have kids and pay their school fees with popcorn money. You are a joke. Okay, Amadi, Joseph and Ebon. Whose names, whose names are you calling? Well, you asked the question, who do I know who has succeeded by selling popcorn? These people I mentioned are acquaintances of mine. And these two weeks after thinking, I have gone to them to undergo mentorship. Now I know how to make popcorn, source for the raw materials. I know all the technicalities involved. My very good friend has been doing this business for the past five years. He has a house to himself, he's happily married, and his children are going to some of the best schools in town. So I know what I am saying, sir. You are not going to convince me to fund a business by merely mentioning the names of people who have made it in the business. Now you tell me, why is popcorn business profitable? You have to convince me. Well, I'm going to give you seven quick reasons why popcorn business is profitable. Number one, it is eaten by all age groups for many reasons. Number two, it does not involve much capital to start. Number three, it has an already existing market. Number four, it can be started in small scale and large scale. Number five, the basic raw material is already readily available. Number six, it sells fast at cinemas at high prices. Lastly, number seven, it can be sold any time of the day. Okay, now uh, you seem to be convinced about this business. So tell me the steps required to start this business. The first thing to do when you want to start a popcorn business is to think about your target customers and also think about your competitors and how your own popcorn is going to be unique in terms of taste and also packaging. Now, you can decide that you will be supplying your products to local shops or retail outlets in your area. This is a good option as a beginner because it helps you to create a large customer base. You can also consider school kits, restaurants and hotels, shopping malls, movie halls, religious places, offices, people at fairs and different carnivals. These are your potential customers. So when you want to start, you have to think about your customers first and also your competitors. Then another exciting thing is that you can even open a website for yourself or create pages for your business on social media. So you're making money online and you're also making it offline. 
so this business is very flexible is very exciting everybody eats popcorn you know what popcorn is ha some cinemas will not even allow you to watch a movie if you don't buy popcorn ha 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 interesting okay what is the next step won't you learn how to do the business before you start wow uncle you seem to be picking up interest in popcorn maybe you will sell all your engineering equipment and buy a popcorn making equipment ha, that's a joke but like they say the first law of any investment is an investigation it took me two weeks to get back to you about this business because i have been going through mentorship within two days i already mastered how to handle the popcorn making machine how to source for maize and how to pop the corn and how to get that unique taste that will make my popcorn to be different so i've already acquired the requisite training wow i am proud to be your uncle you are very up and doing okay so after acquiring the skill what is the next step uncle the next step is to choose a location where i'm going to site my business you know all these campus girls they love snacks a lot and the favorite snack of all these students is popcorn so you have to choose an environment that has the people who could potentially become your customers so a good location could be any place where you sell your products and your physical presence where potential customers can find you okay so locations like school areas you know tertiary institutions secondary or primary school busy garages market area where a lot of people come to always is a very good place to site your popcorn business this is really interesting but you have been talking since you did not mention the equipment that you'll be using to produce this popcorn you can either call it popcorn making machine or popcorn maker now there are two types there's one that uses electricity and this other one is gas powered okay but it is advisable to use the one that is powered with gas or the one that uses both gas and electricity you know that you cannot trust all these nepa people they may not give you light and you don't want to disappoint your customers so the moment there is no electricity you use gas to do your popcorn for your customers so that they will be happy and there will be constant supply of popcorn okay so that machine is the only machine that is needed but depending on packaging you may need a sealing machine if you want to be putting your popcorn in nylons you need to seal them but that depends on your packaging some people can put their popcorns in paper packs for people okay so sealing machine is not so important if you don't have sealing machine it doesn't matter now you will also need a big container okay like a show glass where you will be putting your popcorn and serving your guests from there okay so you can uh, also have cardboard popcorn boxes of different sizes with which you will be uh, selling your popcorn to your customers okay so this business is very flexible and it is very very lucrative as well well this is very articulate of you you have impressed me so much what about raw materials needed for this business the major raw material is corn so you need to get a place to be getting adequate supply of corn my friends have told me the village markets they go to get corn so other things that i would need also is you know salt sugar and butter okay i can make different types of popcorn by adding different flavors colors and spices i can also use vegetable oil and also add milk to get a good result i have already gotten adequate top-notch command of the mixing system i am ready for this business sir wow i can see that my nephew is ready for business is that all that is needed for the business or is there anything more you want to share with me lastly but most importantly is marketing you have to now go and talk to supermarkets and shop owners 
Also, you have to brand your popcorn. Let the packaging be attractive. Then you can go to schools, primary schools, and you know, make sales. You know, tell them, buy one, get one free. Create a social media for your business, advertise it on Instagram, get followers, put the word out there, get feedbacks from your customer. Ask them, do they like the product? How can you make it better? That is how to upscale your business. So marketing is the lifeblood of the business. And I am ready to approach all the supermarkets in my area and all the shop owners and all the cinemas to see how I can be supplying them so that I can upscale the business. I promise, sir, I will not disappoint you. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> I'm very happy with this, your presentation. So you may now go. Bye-bye. I wish you all the best in this business. Ah, uh -uh. which one is bye-bye? Are you not supposed to, to, to give me money to, to run the business? You are telling me bye-bye. Bye-bye to where? Look at this small boy. When you were busy doing your presentation and talking and talking, did you not hear quick him on your phone? I already transferred a million to you. Come on, go away and start your business. To Ali Baba me, ah, Baba Nye, after you now you. Don't general. Ah, I greet you, sir. Thank you very much. Ah, when I got the text, I thought it was my girlfriend that texted me. But after you said it, I checked the text message and I saw the alert in my bank account. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you.